Are you? Are you a YouTube creator trying to grow your personal brand, but you just can't seem to get that traction? Trust me, I feel for you. That's why today I'm going to be taking you with me to a Google Summit where YouTube managers can be revealing what makes a YouTube video successful, how YouTube algorithm decides what videos to promote. So bear with me and I'm going to be revealing all those secrets in today's video. If you're ready to get your YouTube video to the top of the explore page and finally get massive amounts of subscribers to your YouTube channel, keep on watching. Almost certainly. It's disturbing what I gross. What I gross. Survey says you're not even close. Not even close. Everybody's bosses to the time to pay for the office. To them invoices separate the men from the boys. Over here we measure success for how many people successful next to you. Here we say you broke if everybody gets prepped for you. Ads has stayed the same over 60 years. The mobile revolution, however, has resulted in people becoming increasingly frugal with time and attention. Consider your story arc and how you can really do this in the first couple of seconds. There's a lot of data that is available for you that's completely embedded into our channel. So for example, you can look at retention curves. Um, and this is the example. So we're done guys, a lot of secrets revealed and uh, I'm gonna go over a lot of what I learned. Uh, stay tuned because it's absolutely valuable to grow in your personal brand, to grow in any brand, you must listen to this. So let's get on it. All right, all right guys, grab a snack, get your pen, get your notes, and uh, let's get on this tips that I've learned from the YouTube manager that could literally change your success on this platform as a small YouTube creator. So without further ado, let's get on it and make sure you stick till the end because I'm going to be sharing a very, very important tip at the end of this video. So let's start. All right, so the way I want you guys to think about this is as the ABCD framework. And let me explain. Now, A stands for attract. You want to attract your attention very, very quickly because that's what's going to determine if a person staying and watching the video till the end. So there's four ways in which you can do this. The first way is front loading. You want to relate very quickly to your audience. Secondly, you want to focus on framing. Very short clip, very, very uh, zoomed in. You know, those clips that really engage the audience work a lot better than, you know, maybe just the landscape because that's not going to engage the audience very well. You also want to create a feeling, maybe suspense, anger, drama. Just create a feeling that's going to really resonate with your audience. Lastly, you want to focus on a good and thoughtful use of music because, you know, if a person likes music, if um, it relates to what's happening in the video, the experience is going to engage the audience a lot more. B stands for brand. Now, you want to brand yourself maybe as a, as a small content creator, maybe as an expert in, in a specific field, or maybe you're running a campaign for, for a brand of yours, right? You want to assert this message at the very, very start of your video. Make sure it's very clear so that the person knows what the video is about and they don't just leave, you know, kind of not knowing what the whole thing was about. So make sure you add that at the start and you make it very clear, make it a goal of the video. Right, so the C stands uh, for connect and probably this is the most important one in my opinion that the way you do this is through emotion and storytelling. So you might be asking yourself, how do I you know, convey this through storytelling or how do I connect them, or connect with them on an emotional level. And trust me, this can be very hard, especially if, you know, it's not it's not one-to-one -one interaction. Uh, you're facing a camera, which makes things a bit awkward, but uh, it's very important that, that you get this done. So the way you can do this is by revealing a more personal side to you, revealing some of the your weaknesses, some of the hardships that you're going through or that you've gone through in the past, because that just makes you more a relatable human being, right? So entrepreneurship, for example, which is the niche of this YouTube channel, right? Pretty much every single entrepreneur doubt, uh, doubt themselves at a certain point, right? They doubt their, their uh, mission, they, they go through hardships, they, they really struggle. So if you're, if you're able to share that struggle and you're able to, to share some of the hardships that you've gone through yourself, that's gonna make you more, uh, a lot more relatable uh, creator and you're gonna be able to, to reach your audience much better than really engage with them. Finally, the D stands for direct. You want to be very clear where you're going to be taking your audience, how you're going to be directing them to your product or your service. Action has to be very, very strong because at the end of the day, you've engaged with them with these techniques all throughout the video. So you don't want to, you know, throw it all 
uh, to the bin by just having a very poor call to action or having your audience leave without a uh, clear idea of what your product or your service you're selling is. If you're a creator and you're not a brand that's running campaigns, then this may come as a as a call to subscribe to your channel, leave comments, interact, right, engage with your with your content, or you might want to you know plug a merch line or um, a product or service consulting for example that you may have now this does not mean that you can just shamely plug all throughout the video because at the end of the day then your audience is going to see completely see through that and they're not going to be as engaged because no one wants to be sold but if you incorporate it throughout the video and you provide immense amounts of value then there's no problem with it as long as you provide value first you know you gotta get first before you take anything uh, in return, so make sure you, you apply that to your videos and also make sure that this call to action is at the end because it's going to be a lot more effective. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed that and I really hope you can take the steps and apply it to your YouTube game or, or if you're creating content for, for a brand. I really hope you can implement it and, uh, and start getting really good results. Make sure you share with a friend that may uh, need this and that could find it helpful and also make sure you subscribe to this channel because I've got a lot of exciting content coming out in the next days. So make sure you subscribe. Also, uh, leave in the comments any questions you may have or tips that you, you think uh, others could, could benefit from here. And uh, as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.